Yeah, Shalom is real. Quick lesson, man. You know what I mean? Call a while, Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai, by Shem Rakakadash. The bondage of the apostles and elders of Great Most Holy taught me this truth in its entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth all over the earth. Yeah. So yeah, just just a few precepts, man. You know what I mean? I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet, but you know the spirit will come on me, and I'll have something by the time I upload it. But uh, just a quick drop some precepts, man. You know about about what's going on in my city man in the news i'm getting a lot of news alerts you know this whole month has just been crazy as far as alerts and all the alerts are, 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 are violence violence based man you know what i mean there's been just nothing but shooting after shooting after shooting man four a day three to four shootings a day right right and there's, there's always casualties there's always murders you know what i mean and it's all jake you know what i mean it's all jake man right getting murked you know what i'm saying violence man you know what I mean? So some precepts came to my mind, man. You know? Some precepts came to my mind. You know? Luke 17, verse 26. Right? And as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be also in the days of the Son of Man. Right? So we know we're in those days right now. The days of the Son of Man, man. Right? Right? And Yahweh Shai, this is Yahweh Shai speaking right here, red letter, right? He telling us straight, man. When his when his when his when his return dry to nigh, it's gonna be just like the days of Noah. Right? And if we go to Genesis chapter six, right, verse thirteen, we see what the days of Noah were were, right? Right? Genesis chapter six, verse eleven, right? And this these are, this is a description of what the days of Noah were like, man, right? Genesis 6, chapter 11. Genesis 6, verse 11. So like, yeah. The earth also was corrupt before Yahweh, and the earth was filled with violence, right? You know what I mean? There's nothing, there's nothing but violence out here, man, right? There's nothing but violence, and, and you know, there's no love, man, right? There's no love. Right? Love is wax. How's that verse called? Love is wax. Wax. Wax cold. Right? I think it's in I think it's in Luke 20 Matthew 24 love is waxed love is waxed cold right meaning there's no love man and that's the time we're in right now right Yeah, right here. Matthew 24, verse 12. Right? And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Man. Right? Iniquity, man. Sin. Right? Rampant. Shall abound. Surround us, man. We're surrounded. We're surrounded. We're immersed in it, man. There's nothing but sin and iniquity. Right? The love of many shall wax, shall wax cold. Right? These are the times we're in right now, man. Isaiah... Isaiah 59 verse 7 Right Their feet run to evil And they make haste to shed innocent blood Their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity Wasting and destruction are in their paths Right So the most I You know The most I done put out the decree For them left side spirits Of violence He's done put He's done put them on people man Right And it's them that are out here Pushing 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 this violence man Right? You know, judgments, man. You know what I mean? Their feet run to evil and they make haste to shed innocent blood. Innocent blood, right? Those that deserve it, you know what I mean? 
right, on our spiritual level, you know what I mean? Their thought, their their thoughts are thoughts of iniquity. All they're thinking about is is, is badness, man, sin, iniquity, evil, wickedness. You know what I mean? Wasting and destruction are in their paths, man. You know, anywhere they go, it's just destruction, man. You know what I mean? And it's amped up right now, man. It's only going to get worse, man. You know what I mean? It's only going to get worse. It's going to get crazier and crazier. You know what I mean? Right? Right? We're not too far from, from military checkpoints over here in, 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 uh, in, in, in the Western world, man. Over here in America, North America. We're not too far from military checkpoints everywhere, man. We're not too far from that, man. You know what I mean? Right? Where is that, man? Where people want to go to another city and they won't be able to? I think that's in uh, Second Ezra, man. Yeah, Second Ezra 15, verse 17. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able. Right? We're not too far from that, man. You know what I mean? Let's close out with this one right here. Proverbs. It was just a quick, it was just a quick, man. Quick, quick lesson, man. Right? Basically what's going on. The precepts came in my brain. You know what I mean? Let's close out this one. Proverbs 13, verse 2. A man shall eat good by the fruit of his mouth, but the soul of the transgressor shall eat violence. Right? The soul of the transgressor shall eat violence, man. You know what I mean? The soul of the sinner, the one keeping up the sinning and the wickedness, right? He's gonna eat violence, man. You know what I mean? And that's what's going on right now, out here right now, man. Judgment. Most sides pushing this judgment, right? Multitudes are falling by the sword, man. Right? And it's only gonna get worse, man. You know what I mean? But stay prayered up, man. You know what I mean? I pray that this was edifying. Kalawa Yahawa, Bashem Yahawa Shai, Bashem Rakakadash, right? The bond to the apostles and elders of great Muslim who taught me this truth in its entirety, according to the Bible. Peace and salutation to the Akim out there pushing this truth all over the earth, right? Stay focused, Israel. Stay in this truth. Stay in this word, man. Stay prayed up. You know what I mean? Right? Redemption draw tonight. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? We're on the cusp of some serious times right now, man. Jacob's trouble is around the corner. You know what I mean? Stay focused, man. Stay prayed up. Shalom.